my beautiful family how are you all doing thank you for always tuning in thank you for your love thank you for your support i'm so grateful i can't thank you enough so today i just want a quick one and i want you both of us to reason together and see what is going on so today i come across a video of a bvi shining one trying to invite um a simon Epa on his no election agenda in his channel and he made a video and said people to, to share it and uh, send it to uh, Simon Ekpa that he wants Simon Ekpa he wants to have one-on-one -on -one discussion with him and open show that is uh, why did he say that there is no election honestly speaking our brother take a very bold step and take a very nice one I really appreciate him yeah a BVI uh, shiny one yeah I appreciate you big bros uh, but there is something that you would have Done before, like reaching out to him on email or uh, somewhere else uh, to discuss this, to table it, to even know why are you crying and why do you say there is no election. But before I will analyze this video, also I want us to listen to his own view and how he presents the world to um, Manzi Simon Ekpa. And I'll be right back. First, let me extend an open invitation to Simeon Eba to have an open conversation as Biafrans to Biafran so that we can understand who truly is working for the benefit of Biafran people and who is after his personal agenda. Okay. The agenda that is detrimental to the good of the Biafran people. Mm -hmm. I'm sending this open invitation to him. If truly he believes in himself yeah. and the cause is pursuing to be beneficial to the Biafran people, he should not shy away from this invitation. Mm -hmm. In fact, this invitation is a litmus test on his personality and his agenda. If he doesn't, just know that he has a material motive and it's not open for discussion. Because you know this platform, we open everything up. We don't hide anything. We don't reserve the truth. We say it the way it, it is. is. Okay. So, Simeon Eba, I ask you to repeat us. The voice of the oppressed people, the Biafran people, is calling on you to accept this invitation, to have a live interactive conversation on this issue of no election in Biafra land and the entire Biafra agitation for self-determination. Because I believe strongly and I'm committed to the cause of the freedom of the indigenous people of Biafra. I am a Biafran. I am living in Biafra land. And I am not living land. In Finland. So I am asking you to accept this open invitation. If truly you are genuine and not pursuing a hidden agenda of the very oppressors of the Biafran people, help me share this video. Help me extend this video to him. And let's have his response. And when you get that, you bring it to my numbers as you can see it on the screen. And we will schedule a day. That is just all I can tell you. And when we come on the live conversation with him, then we'll have something to talk about. I'm signing out. I'm associated with Peters. Please help me share this video. Help me share this video. I don't want to respond to his um, talking about no election now until he accepts or declines this invitation. Because I will leave no stone unturned to expose those who are working for the enemies of Biafra hmm. and those who are working, pursuing personal agenda at the detriment of the good of the indigenous people of Biafra. I'm signing out. So, you just heard from this our brother. That is why I said he started so well. He expressed himself. He said, oh, Simon Ekpa, I want to know your agenda. 
I want to know why you said there is no election. Of which I believe that this our big brother here, BVI, is obedient. He believes in election and he believes that when Peter Obi becomes the president of Nigeria, he's going to do greater things. And the, the other way around, Simon Ekpa did not believe that these people will even allow Peter Obi to emerge as the president of Nigeria, not talking about doing something good for the people. And this Abra said he's a voice to the voiceless. But according to you, my brother, you are just coming for saga. Yes, the atmosphere that you 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 portray it. that is the atmosphere that you bring out what you bring out from everything that is that you are saying right now this the the situation the environment you've already charged the environment that is why i said you are coming for saga we have a lot on our hands already there is a lot of problems there is a lot of things going on and we are trying so much to fix things Boom! You are not coming again from another another angle. In fact, bros, you started with but the your your presentation. I did not accept it because you present this issue like you are already having a personal beef with this Simon Epa you are talking about. You present the issue as if there is a problem already. You made us to understand already that you are about to expose people that are working for the Ni uh, federal government of Nigeria. You are going to expose the people that are working for their own gain. If Simon Epa did not show up. Come on, brother. You are someone that I respect so much. And this, you said, I think you get it wrong in some aspects. You even move for that to say that. There are a lot of people that are working for their personal gain. And if Simon Epa did not show up, hey, my brother, you said that you are going to expose a lot of things. And you also said that if Simon Epa refused to show up, you are, not, you are not going to leave any stone untouched. Come on, please. We have so much already. We have so much in our hands already. Now, <laughs> you are coming in another level again to expose. <laughs> Hopefully, you are strong enough when the time comes because it is so important that a lot of people right now will want to hear those things that you have, those secrets that you want to expose. You say you are not going to leave any stones untouched. It is better for you right now. It is also an open show. For you to expose everything that you know about this Biafra uh, agitation, please, a lot of people want to know. And again, I see that your coming out is like you are coming out for saga. You already have a kind of, should I say, hate on Simon Ekba. There are things that is, see, in this life, we disagree to agree. There is a way you handle issue. And nobody will even know there is a problem. And there is a way you also handle issue. People, we all we know that there is a big problem. Like what I said before, bros, you started so well. But the ending of it is just like you need saga. It's just like you need, it's just like there is something in you that you want to say out. If Simon Ekba did not come, you are going to do this. You are going to expose. You are going to do that. Come on, big bros. You are more than this. I've been, see, if you start this thing, I'm telling you, you see the campaign, you are about to campaign right now for Peter Obi. You will not even have the time to campaign it. You will not have the time to campaign it, oh brother. I'm speaking out of experience. <laughs> this rope you drew right now. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. The campaign that you should focus on. You will not even have the time anymore to campaign this campaign. You want to campaign for Peter Obi if you start this saga because the way I am seeing it, of a truth, this is clear and clean saga. You even told him that you are in Biafra land and you are not in Finland. You indirectly pass out a lot of things. You've already arranged the environment. The environment right now is so hot. You have charged the environment. That is why I come to you and tell you that, brother, please, just focus on what you are doing and forget about what any other person is doing that you see is not right. 
That is what I have to tell you. Because these parts, you are not coming. You are not talking of exposition. You will not even have time for yourself if it starts. <laughs> I know what I am saying. If this exposition starts, you will not have time for yourself. You will not have time to do what you should have been doing. That is why I am just telling you that, bros, please, just allow the sleeping dog to lie. Because this rope you are drawing now, this rope you are drawing, <laughs> you cannot use it to form square. Rather, just focus on your obedience. And allow the people that say there is no election, allow them to be. Because if you start this exposition, we are all ears. <laughs> Let us see how it goes and how it ends. I keep on repeating myself. I said, we disagree to agree. There is a way you talk to a child that is crying. He will not want to cry anymore. And there is also a way you talk to a child that is already crying. And he will increase the volume. So I think... You are giving room right now to things that should have not be. And you would have handled this situation in a very great way, in a very wonderful way, in a very super way that people will appreciate you, that of a truth, you make peace. When there is a problem in the family, or two partners have problem, or two parties have problem, for instance, the third partner or the third party should be able to make peace. Biafra, there is a lot of problem already. We are losing focus, of which we should be focused. Please, let's handle this issue out of sentiments, out of envy, and out of grudges, so that you also will achieve your aim. This is what I have to say, my brother. I still want you to think about this way that I told you. You started so well. Your presentation was so good. But at the end, you, you, you did not, it, it, it's not that okay because it looks like you charge the environment for saga. Or there is something that you've heard about Simon Ekpa. You've gathered all your information and you want to unleash it. And you said you are going to expose. And we are really waiting for your exposition. So thank you so much. Please share this video and let it get to him. As a big bros, you should have settled this issue as well. You should have reached out to him in a very peaceful way. And you would have come in peace so that you hear from him and see how things will work out. Not trying to impose something on someone. Because the way you present it, it's just like you are imposing it on him. If you refuse, I will expose you. Brother, no. You can do more than this. They say the way body tell they scratch you. If you scratch like that, the soul go enter. There is a way you can do this. And there is a way you can position this issue more better and more presentable so that at least anybody that listens to it will not see envy in it, will not see hatred in it, will not see grudges in it. We see a peace and a straightforward issue. But what we are seeing, it is obvious already because you make your point already. That is why I came to tell you that the, your presentation is good, but it, it seems like it's out of hatred already. That is the way I see it because you charge the environment and you pass out some message that you should have not uh, passed out. If really, you really want to invite him for an open invitation as you said for a listening ear you should have not go further to say some things that you just said so thank you so much and i hope you take this my little brief message with your own heart and see how we will amend things and not to destroy it because a lot is happening already look at the country people need change people need this to work out for them how can we do this we have to work together as one so thank you so much please share this video to him as well and let him also see reasons with what i just said thank you and bye bye subscribe 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 <laughs>